of the Jets. An absolute A, Dan Graziano. 9 for 11, 128, two touchdowns. And listen, it looks easy. And I understand that this is the preseason, but a lot of those characteristics that we talked about in college and pre-draft, Zach Wilson this year. Showing that LaFleur looks like he has a great understanding of what this guy's strengths are. And man, can he flick his wrist and throw that rock. Zach Wilson got an A, bro. People excited about Zach Wilson, and the Jets fans don't like to get that way. Uh, Acho, Trey Lance, what's his grade? Yeah, I give Trey Lance a B minus. I thought he looked really good. There were some obviously some areas where you want to see him take care of the ball better, maybe not get sacked. But man, this dude has phenomenal potential. I give him a higher grade, but I think I think the ceiling's even higher than a lot of people give him credit for. I give B minus for Trey Lance. Swagoo, give us a grade on Justin Fields in Chicago. Well, I ain't in all them damn minuses and pluses. Justin Fields got a C. And the reason why he has a C, because I don't want to see him get hit, not realizing mm -hmm. that he has a blitz coming off the edge. Look, he went nine for 19. He's still the, the clear best option for the Chicago Bears to start and, and help those guys win games. But this past game was a C, because I I don't want to see the man get decapitated. And we'll finish up with Acho and Mac Jones. Man, I was going to go minus or plus, but you're not with the minuses or pluses, so I'm going to just go A. <laughs> I'm going to just give Mac Jones an A. He's been, he's been pushing for that starting spot for Cam for a long time, and Cam's been playing really well, but Mac Jones has looked phenomenal. Every... Pass on the run to LaVisca Chenault for the first down. Lawrence nicely moving the chains with his arm. Later in the drive, third and ten, Lawrence feeling the pressure again. Throws deep to Chenault, but it's underthrown, and the Jaguars end up having to punt. Next drive, Lawrence adjusting to the pressure. Pressure, a recurring theme for him. Steps up in the pocket, finds Marvin Jones for a first down in a big game, 18 yards on that play. Then later in the drive, third and eight, inside the Saints. 30, feeling the pressure again, he rolls out and runs for the first down. Jaguars end up kicking a field goal on that drive. 57 seconds left before halftime, third and 10 inside the red zone, and Lawrence is sacked by Jalen Dalton and Urban Meyer is disappointed. Lawrence plays the entire first half, finishes 14 for 23 for 113 yards and said this. Got to get a little bit better at getting the ball out, taking completions, um, staying out of second and long and third and long. That makes it really hard for Coach Bev. And as an offense, it's just hard to convert all those third and long. So that's, that's part on me, just staying ahead of the chains and then just the whole offense, we got to click a little bit more. Still got some work to do. Welcome to the NFL moment. This is not the preseason anymore. This is the regular season. That defense that you saw was a regular season style of defense. Second to last preseason game, you saw the starters play a ton. That Saints defense, the last nine weeks of the regular season, they were the number one scoring defense last year. They were number one in takeaways. So, like, that's what it's going to look like, number one. Number two, obviously, you got to protect the guy better. You have to run the ball. You have to allow some quick passes. Keep some tight ends in to protect the quarterback. But that, for me, was just a, a welcome to the NFL, Saints versus Jaguars, as you would expect. Yeah, you talk about running the ball. The rookie running back, Travis Etienne, hurt his foot in that game, so we'll keep an eye on that. But, Jeff, when you watch this what are you thinking about the way urban meyer is handling things this preseason i think that this is the repercussions of not giving trevor lawrence the starting job and you could say well watching that game it certainly didn't look like he earned it but my thing is he clearly needs more repetitions you will never change my mind about trevor lawrence in terms of his generational talent we know we should know that this guy not only deserves to be the number one overall pick, he deserves to be the starting quarterback right away, get in there, and start getting those first team reps. To me, this was just evidence that he needs more repetition. 
options. He needs more time with that camera so y'all can't see my damn face. One, it was a disaster. That's one. Last night was a disaster. And look, I know they missing some offensive linemen, but it looks like this team has no plan, man. I was more concerned about how they were operating from an offensive play calling standpoint. What what type of situations were you putting Trevor Lawrence in? I'm a I'm a I'm with Jeff. I'm with, I think everybody's in the agreement that Trevor Lawrence should have been the number one overall pick. You can see the talent. You can still see some of the some of the things that he does out of worldly, even last night being under so much duress. Yeah. But I'm just concerned about how, how they call plays and how they allow this kid to continue to get put on the mat. And Trevor, Trevor, look, what I I like about him more than anything is what you don't get for most rookies. They don't know what to say. But when you saw him in that presser yeah. before we came on talking true. about it, he talked about it. We need to click more. We got to have more protection. I got to get the ball out of my hands. Quarterbacks that put it on them, I tend to gravitate to. And as that was not on Trevor Lawrence last night, but he still took the heat for it, and that's a guy that I think is going to have a tremendous amount of success in this league and the respect of his teammates, and two, they were not playing with a full boat, so hopefully it'll get better going forward. I'm more concerned about this damn coaching staff than I yes. am Trevor Lawrence. Just getting started in Jacksonville, just like us on Get Up. We'll have more on this later, but coming up, Tom Brady is feeling confident heading into the 2021 season. If one of our experts had to pick one quarterback back to win a game. Would it be him?